Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Frostpunk and this is episode 2 of my playthrough and let's just jump right in because we don't want to waste time trying to save these people's lives in Frostopia. So last time when we left off we just made our beacon and uh, this time we want to try and send out some people to survive to rescue survivors from the lost expedition which I'm not quite sure how to do so let's try and find out. So the beacon. Beacon gives you access to the world outside the city. You can explore it with scouts deployed through the beacon panel. The beacon allows you to explore Frostland with scouts. Click on the beacon's base to open the beacon panel and create scout teams. Scouts are self-sufficient and can venture great distances from the city. They may find precious resources, survivors, and perhaps shed light on the world and its fate. The progress of your scouts is shown through the icons in the upper right corner. Okay, that's good to know. Let's try and send out some scouts. Beacon. Create a new team. We must have five citizens and some wood available. Okay, so we need wood desperately. What's the wood situation? That's coal. That's coal. That's wood. Oh, I think we can afford to have a little less... What's going on here? Okay, I will solve this problem. Let's get rid of the dead. I thought we already passed the law saying they had to get rid of them. We have. Just get rid of them in the snow for crying out loud. Sign that. We might as well. Okay, good stuff. Uh... Okay, we are starving though. You'll do as you're told after you're dead, I'm afraid. Right, what do I need? Let's get some... Oh no, hunters are desperately needed. Cookhouse? Could not resume production. Well then you don't need five workers, do you? So we'll get more workers in here. Because we need some of that. Coal, 14 per hour. So per day, that's 8 hours. 8 times 12 is... It's going to be 96 per day. How much did, per day do we need? It does not say. I think it would say... Oh, there we go. 168 per day, so that's not enough per day. Deary me. Okay, not good. It's not enough to last. We need more population, and we need it now. Coal pile, 2 workers... Shop two workers in there. Shove one in there. I don't understand. I've got two hunters hot, one full and one half full, and they are struggling to get enough food to feed the uh, the place. And especially since we've lost most of our people already, I don't understand why that is. Okay, let's speed things up. I want to send this convoy out as soon as possible. It's already got the late shift and it's still not good enough. So is that. And I can't put the hunters on the late shift, which is the most important thing we have. And it doesn't let me put them on a late shift. Seems strange that. Okay, let's speed it up till the morning. Get to work, lads. Okay, less people are sick. That's good. That's good news. Okay, we have enough wood. We need villagers. Uh, we will take them away from the wood pile. Send out a scout team. One more. There we go. Create a scout team. Okay. I think we want to go to the lost expedition first. Send the scout team. And does it say how long it'll be? No, that's just... That's it. That's all we get. It's, oh, 10 hours. There it is. 10 hours, 49 minutes. So they'll be back by the, before the end of the day. They'll be back before we know it. It's no problem. Five people starving to death. No, five people are hungry, not starving. Well, that could be worse, really, couldn't it? That's not so bad. I'd say all things considered, we're doing pretty well, actually. Okay. 
We fed everyone. Just. Scouts have reached the lost expedition. The rest of our people made camp here too. Exhausted. Oh, sorry. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. So, yeah, definitely explore. We could do with more people. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Observatory and sturdy shelter. Very good. Uh, so what is that? Send them to the city. No, escort them to the city, I think. Yes, want them all to get here. Read the journal. Ah, okay, that's that. We already read it. Okay, good. We're getting more people. Uh, they can come back. Yep. Safely. What's going on? One gravely sick. That's not good. That's not good at all. When they say gravely sick, is that because he's old, or is it because this person was on the brink of death? So, a specialist in the infirmary may still be able to do something. Do we have? So we don't have an infirmary, we have a medical post. So let me go to the technology tree. Food, health, and hunter's gear. Oh, that's definitely getting researched now. Because food is a real problem. Nine hours left as well with the coal. Not good. Well, hopefully when these... Here they are. Nine engineers, four children, and 22 workers. That is great timing. Ah! Let me get a little clip. People from our convoys reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships. But shouldn't there be another settlement nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the others. I agree. I agree. We should definitely go and look for the others. But first, I want to max out this coal. Yes, we will certainly go and look for more because I want more people working. Let's get a little bit more in the wood. Send some of the engineers there as well. Uh, what else can we do? We'll have more people in the cookhouse. Do we need that many? I don't know. We should have an engineer in the cookhouse. Why not? Hunter's hut. Yep. Got ten left. What can we do with that? Oh, wow. It's getting cold. One of our people is gravely ill. If you sign the radical treatment law, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. This, they may undergo risky amputations as a result. Alternatively, you might sign the sustain life law to keep them alive until we build an infirmary. Um, I'm afraid that it's going to have to be radical treatment because we are in bad shape, I'm afraid. So... 26 homeless, of course, yes, we need to build more homes for these people. These guests. Oh, that's finished, is it? Okay, get Max on the coal there. I still don't get what the difference between putting an engineer is and, and a worker. Right, we need wood. Build a sawmill nearby to start excavation. Can we build a sawmill? Resources. does not appear that we can. Steel wreckage. And there's some wood crates. Let's max that out. And we're good for now. So can I research a sawmill? Okay, we'll wait till this research is finished because food is on the agenda first because we have a lot of hungry people. And then we'll also build some tents. Snow pit. A pit in the snow where... Okay. Did not know that I had to build that. Well, we won't put it next to the food. 
We will put it next to the foundry and oh that's right next to the host the, the infirmary, so that makes sense. Just shove all the dead guys there. What do you want? A woman is sitting in the snow pit, holding her head, dead husband's hand, crying her heart out. Perhaps you should agree to give people proper burials after all. What difference does it make? I did what I had to do, and I stand by my decision. Okay, it needs a road. There we go. Snowpit is ready. We can dispose. Dumping our dead is not something to be proud of. I think we'll be fine. I think they'll have to get used to I think that's the least of our problems in, in Frostopia, to be honest with you. I mean, it's a great place to live, but come on, seriously, you can't have everything. And their problems are over once they're dead. It's the living I've got to care about. Let's build a path. Build a street. Okay, we've got one. No need to build a street. And that should be everyone homed. We have a lot of hungry now. People are hungry. We need to feed everyone. Okay, this is becoming a real struggle. I don't understand why. Two full to the brim hunters huts are not getting enough food for everyone. Hunts usually take 12 hours and they return with 20 and 40. So uh, do I need another one? I mean, that's crazy to me how much food that we need. <sighs> so we have no, no one's free right now. Four gravely sick people, so we're about to lose a lot of people. So that's not good. Flying hunters, that would be useful. Resources. Sawmill. That would be very useful. Let's get that as quickly as possible. Then we can start really building stuff, I reckon. Look how many sick people there are. This is crazy. To save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. Okay. Let's sign the care house? No, prosthetics. Okay, fine. Dearing me. Care house, there it is. For useless people. Not happy about that. Come on, guys. You can definitely get things researched. Okay, they brought back a lot of food. Shoot. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want to ha have anyone in to touch his leg, and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Oh. Let him die. No, oh, oh, cut off his. Oh. It's his decision. If he, it's his decision. Let him be. At the end of the day, he's still got to have a society where free choice is important. So. Let him be. Right, sawmill. Really important, I think. Sawmill. Turns frozen trees into usable material, turn, producing up to 80 wood per standard workday. That's fantastic. So. There we go, and then let's build a street out to it. Build a path. I go to here. Ooh. 
research the soil mill. Uh, what about coal? A coal thumper. Fast oh, faster gathering. Ah, we need more wood. Which shouldn't be a problem for much longer. Okay, get on that, people. One of our people has died. The patient who refused amputation has just died of gangrene. We did our best to ease his pain, but he suffered terribly in the end. It was his choice. I would discontent. It was his choice. People aren't happy that they've got freedom to choose? Madness. That's madness. What do you want? More sick beds needed. President Norman treated sick. We're asking you to address. Oh, a new medical post. I don't know if I can afford to build a new medical post. Actually, we're about to free up some workers, so yes, let's do that. I think this sawmill is going to be just what we need to free up some people, right? There we go. So that's the that's freed up a lot of workers, I think. So we can stop these wood crates. You're going to work longer hours. We need as much wood as possible. And then we need a new... We need a new medical post, which will cost 25 wood, of course. Of course it will. So I'll have to wait till tomorrow. How are we doing for coal? 13 hours left. <laughs> it's right to the bread line. Feed all the hungry. We're doing not a bad job of feeding the hungry, although people are still starving. But we're working on it. Okay, the day has start started. Wow, people really are in trouble. Okay, wood, there we go. Okay, let's get something faster gathering. Wow, I should really have researched that earlier, right? Oh, wow, that seems very, very good. Is that coal? That's a coal deposit, so you build a coal mine, not a coal... What's a coal thumper, then? Is a coal thumper a coal mine? Not sure. Okay, we're, f we're, f we're doing it. We're feeding the hungry. Feed all the hungry. Three left. Three hungry people left to feed. And we need... Okay, I really didn't make good use of the uh, research in the beginning, I'm starting to realize. Let's get another medical post over here next to where... Next to the body pit. That makes the most sense, I think. We'll build a path to it. There we go. There we go. And then coal. A coal thumper. As soon as... There we go. Coal thumper. Build a coal thumper to create a new surface coal deposit suitable for gathering from. Okay. So we can just build that anywhere? Can I just build that? Resources. So if I just pop it there... We'll definitely increase those work hours if this is what I think it is. Max. 22... 58 per day. So it's not quite enough to... Uh, I thought it'd be better than that, to be honest. 40. Oh, per hour. That's what it's got left. Six hour. Oh, six per hour. Oh, wow. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. That's made a massive difference. What just exploded? The hungry were fed. Doing well. Doing well. Saving lives. One at a time. One at a time. The sawmill's doing a good job. Technology. Faster gathering. I think that is definitely what we need next. I think we just shorten resources across the board. Some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Let's heat some homes. Let's heat all homes. Wow, yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's try and heat some homes. Make homes livable. Secure at least livable conditions in the homes. Okay. I will try my best, my friends. Uh, but I will, we'll find out next time, I guess, because that is 
probably where I'm going to leave this episode, having managed to stop killing everyone, but everyone is sick, so <laughs> I'll find out how to deal with that next time. But at least we have, for now, resolved our resource crisis, I think, as of tomorrow. Um, so I think that's a good place to leave it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.